You know who's entertaining? The Rock. He's full heel now, baby. I saw something where it was it was the like the clearest indication that he was all in was they said that he wasn't in any um, Under Armour or WWE merch. He was in his old school Versace, like he was in his shit. Mm-hmm. You know, he was in the. So I sweat. I sweated that shirt he had on. I wouldn't do the cutoff, obviously, but uh, <clears throat> I'd wear that by the pool. Uh, I'm not a Versace guy. So, though you I s- have seen your 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 Capote fucking robe. <laughs> I do have a Versace robe. I know you fucking wore it on like New Year's Eve. I got a nice. New, New, I, was it New Year's? What was it? New Year's Day. I got some nice uh, Versace. Uh, lift sneakers too recently it's pretty good listen i want to make that shit for me I, that's it's fine i, I got a um you, you need a lift like uh, but you saw the promo uh smackdown yeah okay so <clears throat> first of all we're talking about a heel right the pop Bro, the pop. Hey, what happened to me last week with Mean Gene? It's fucking <laughs> happening with Vince. Bro. By Menon. The pop he got, the pop when that music hit, that was not a heel pop. That was like an Austin, unless that was production, unless it was no, sweetened. That, that was the, that's like the biggest house that they ever had in that building. 11,000, Salt Lake City, right? It's like maybe money wise. I mean, it was it was. So yeah. if it wasn't a track, and that was real, it was massive. The pop when his music hit. Should a heel get the Austin pop? I was thinking about that. I'm like, wait a minute, this is. But then I was thinking, you know what? NWO no, he's always not did. The, he's getting the rock pop. Yes, but the rock's a heel doesn't matter rocks rock so then i i i put it this way i watched fucking raw and like no seth no rock no Mm -hmm. you know it was just and it was i was looking at rock's body yeah we were talking about all the shit where people talk about angles like their camera angles he is Big like a pickle, man. He is huge. Um, camera angles my ass. Um, his promo itself in the ring, very entertaining. I dug the um, the Mormon stuff. I popped for. Is he going too hard as a heel? I mean, should should it should it stay a little more ambiguous and believable? Or, I mean, should we be insulting the crowd? No, I think it's a little that's too what dated. You want. Yeah, no, but I still, think it, yeah, you want, you want it. To, okay, so Cody comes to the ring and he has to fucking pound his fist and they got to get that. Whoa! <laughs> then we got to go down. You're a big fucking, fan of that. Yeah, got, yeah. And then fuck with Seth Rollins, they just do it the whole fucking time. <laughs> so for a heel that you to interact, you got to fucking. You know, he said he went to fucking say, you know one of his catchphrases, and they jumped out. He goes, no, you don't get the fucking, you don't get to be a part of this. And that's the whole thing. Everybody else is fucking, is just agile. It's the more adulation they can get. Oh, you know, when I put my fist down, what's next? <laughs> I mean, the day that I went, went to fucking something and got that involved, Jesus, I I went to Rocky Horror Picture Show and walked out halfway through. I said, "What the fuck is everybody screaming about? This is fucking stupid." But I'm looking at the crowd during Rock's promo, right? And they're loving it. There's smiles. It's they, Salt Lake they're City. They're now playing. There's they're, seven gene pools in the whole fucking <laughs> building. They're chanting Rocky at one point, and I think he realizes. That he needs to get a little heat back. So that's when he turns to the crowd and very randomly points to probably nobody. Calls somebody fatty and says he's going to smack his herpes lips. 
which was a little out there, but I think he realized that he was too over. There, it's it's at the point where I thought a couple of weeks ago the the Cody crazies were that it was genuine. Now I think they're loving Rock as a heel, and that gets that's why I that's said like all let, along that that's where the I mean, the the money is Dwayne. In any form or fashion, that is the fucking. I don't give a if, if Babe Ruth, fucking if you could get him to come back on a time machine and play for the Yankees, he'd be the most over motherfucker on the Yankee squad. Mm -hmm. Just he's Babe Ruth. I mean, yeah. it's just see when you're a shell of yourself and you and you were a superstar. That's one thing. Like, even John Cena is much smaller, you know, and he's losing his hair. I mean, he's showing the he's showing age. Rock is like Yul Brenner. <laughs> <coughs> Every time I fucking see the uh, Ten Commandments, and he's walking around, fucking Yul Brenner's walking around. I'm like, fucking Rock stole his shit from Yul Brenner. You know who agrees with you? Not necessarily the Yul Brenner, but about the Rock thing. 